Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alkin again. There's that level five, and this is the war that brought us there. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video, I was gone for a couple events, so I missed out on a lot, which uh, included a three war win streak, which brought us up to level five. And. This war was against Polpetta Mini. And again, that brought us, it gave us enough XP for the level 5. And the Warhammer was passed from Uda to Joe Deasy. And I haven't had the pleasure of meeting or chatting with Joe Deasy too much. But you can see that uh, had a couple three-star attacks there. Great, right around his uh, his uh, rank there at 16. So let's start with his attack on uh, on his mirror. Jumped out with the three-star. I haven't seen these. Don't know much about this war. So. Scott. Looks like a Laloon. Probably CB, just looking at the clan castle and the wizards and the just the troops. And oh yeah, that queen is way exposed. Get in there and take her out. Which it does very nicely. Didn't even really need his queen in on that kill, but it worked out. And here we go again. Perfect targeting each uh, AD at a time. If you'll notice down there at the bottom, his his, his a, uh, archer queen has gotten oh little lightning on the on the CC troops as well as taking out that AD. Nifty little move there. But targeting each AD individually in a circular pattern, whether it's clockwise, counterclockwise, doesn't matter. Brings everybody together towards the end, all loons together towards the end. So you can see the only defenses are that mortar and the expo, which is kind of doing some work on his loons. But, uh, oh, no, there was the hound. So he's still got uh, CC troops chasing after his uh, hound there. Bunch of bunch of archers. So maybe he missed a little bit with that uh, lightning spell, but no matter. Loons and pups left, as well as his archer queen, who's basically untouched. So, all over with the cleanup. <laughs> That's a pretty darn good attack. Excellent. Glad to have you in the clan here. So, let's see it is second attack. And I heard somebody mention in, in uh, chat that it was a clutch hog attack. So, I am expecting some hogs on this one. Let's see a few loons. A couple witches. He's got his own golem. I'm guessing that's a golem in the uh, Quinn Castle. Nice little start to it. Takes out one defense that could get in the way of pathing. Same thing with that. Now he's just he's got equal sides of this base to take care of. And I'm gathering since this was the second attack, he had a pretty good idea where each of the big bombs were. The two golems with the whiz and witch, the witches behind, which uh, is actually great, great way to take out a bunch of the base. 
mean, between the one max golem and then uh, level four golem, they do some work as far as taking up a bunch of, uh, of hits. So he's, he's got the hogs in pre-healed on those uh, giant bomb spaces. They were just singles. So a little pre-heal action on that works out great. He's got that heal down for all those Teslas, which can, when there's that many of them, can do some damage to the hogs. And they are done just as his last hog dies. Wow. So neither one of those golems has split yet. Looks like uh, the one that he brought from his own camps hasn't even been hit. Great little attack there. Let's see, he's got plenty of troops, including his untouched queen, yet again. Start working on this uh, cleanup. A couple more buildings. Gold mine. And it is all over. Excellent job, Joe DZ. Glad to have you in the clan. And uh, glad to have you have the Warhammer. Good job.